Hello. Hey guys, we're just trying this again. Thank you for refreshing your pages and jumping back in on the live. Not sure if it's because we're all working from home today and we're all using the internet. I have no idea. All right. And there's an, um, another couple of people in the house on Zoom work calls. So, <laughs> hey, Janet. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Wanda. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's all just pray that this just stays live and we're all good for now. So I've been uh, doing this week five lives over on my I Restore Stuff page. I'm from Australia. My name's Sharon, if you've just joined me. And we've been doing five lives of five things that you can upcycle in your home. Let me just show you really quickly what I've been doing. We did, first of all, some picture frames on day one. So that was Monday, my time. And we just made some ordinary wooden picture frames, painted them up, showed you how you can upcycle those. On day two, I upcycled just an ordinary tin and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, you can check any of those out on my lives over on my page. And day three, I painted a chair and I tell you all of the, all of the great, all my best tips for painting furniture and painting chairs, um, how to prep a piece of furniture, all of that kind of thing. So you can catch those lives over on my page and I've got one more live tomorrow where I'll be doing a painting a bedside table. So that'll be a lot of fun. But today it's Thursday morning right here in Australia. So for my lives, I've been going Monday to Friday. So for some of you in the US, that will be um, Sunday night to Thursday night. Uh, but today I'm joining on my regular ambassador Essential Stencils Live and we're going live at the same time on their page and my page to show you how to upcycle something in your, house, in your house that everybody has and they are tea towels or if you don't have tea towels lying around which I know you do but here's another idea cushion covers now these are just some square cushion covers that you can also stencil on so we'll be talking a little bit about stenciling on fabric what are the best fabrics to use and that kind of thing. We will be using some fun stencils from the Easter collection. Oh, thank you guys who are watching. I'm watching on my phone, my I Restore Stuff page, because we're there at the same time. And I'm looking for comments here on Essential Stencils page. So thank you guys. It's, it is going to be fun tonight Can't, and today. <laughs> it is in Australia. I'm wondering if anyone can see my t-shirt. I don't know if you can zoom in on that, Tori. Can we see it? <laughs> Tell me if I'm doing it right. Now, you guys, this um, is one of Essential Stencils stencils with a difference, okay? So this is the stencil here that I use. Let me see if I can make it show up. See if you can tell, spot the difference. Now this one is no longer in stock, I'm sorry to say, but some of you in the Stencil of the Month Club, or um, no, it isn't a Stencil of the Month Club one, but it's an older one of their stencils. Um, it says we probably should cuddle and it was part of a set that was, um, I don't know what the set was, forever, we decided on forever is another one in the set. So here it is, we probably should cuddle. So you know that we need to be so, uh, so social distancing right now, is that the word, did I say it right? Social distancing, um, self-isolation and all of those things. So I thought it'd be fun to just kind of change the words up again so that if I do go out to get groceries, that's all I'm allowed out for, I can wear it like this. So if you can read that, spot the difference. We probably shouldn't cuddle. Okay, so it's my self-distancing, uh, social distancing t-shirt. Thought I'd just change it up a bit. But that's some fun that you can have with essential stencils. Stencils, some of the different designs all you can mix and match them and have so much fun with them there's so many different possibilities so that's one idea just thought I'd share that with you so if you do have that old older stencil that's no longer available or it's not in stock at the moment you might be able to try that too so there you go so here we are today finding some things around my house that you can stencil on now, guys, just remember that if you are on my page, I will let you know, and Essential Stencilers, that if you use the code I Restore Stuff today, that's my code, and you'll get 10% off any of your Essential Stencil orders. 
And they have got, if you've been watching some of the lives this week from, they have doubled up on the lives. We've got so many lives for you. You should be entertained for days. And you can always join the catch up in their live section on the video section in their page. Um, what was I gonna say? There's so many lives, yes. And so we can, we are also, I will let you know that the Stencil of the Month Club, you'll get $5 off your first month if you use the code iRestoreStuff. So get your 10% off all their stencils today and join the Stencil of the Month Club. You get sent, speaking of that, the Stencil of the Month Club stencils for April, I just thought I'd give them another quick mention. Melissa, do you know Melissa? Melissa the Ambassador has, <laughs> she's so much fun and she has designed these fun stencils. First of all, that's the add-on that you get to add on. They'll tell you about that on the stencilofthemonth.com page. But she has created, there's Melissa, she's created these fun stencils that can be all interchangeable. There's a cow and a horse that could even be turned into a unicorn with all these different fun ideas. So Melissa's done that for April. So grab a hold of your April Stencil of the Month Club stencil. You can order that now at stencilofthemonthclub.com. Use the code iRestoreStuff and get $5 off your first month. Yes, I know, Frances, uh, they need to bring that stencil back, my shirt stencil, so that she can get it. Yes, Melissa's is awesome. Melissa and Bucky are a hoot of a team. I love, I love watching their lives too. Um, so today, I'm going to be finding something in the house that you all have, tea towels. Uh, that, uh, now, let's talk about stenciling on cloth. I've just picked out ones. Now, these, I'm going to be doing Easter stencils today. And these may not be Easter colours. I don't know what are Easter colours. Maybe the pastels and things like that. But um, I just grabbed what I had because, you know, we're not going out. We're not shopping. We can do some online shopping. But I just wanted to find things that I could grab around the house that we could stencil on today. So let me start with what we're going to be using to stencil. One of the stencils I want to use is this three pack of gorgeous spring collection. Bunny wreaths is the name and they are the six inch by six inch stencils. Bunny wreaths. Let me just show you the little bunnies but they come in like they're all gorgeous together. So we've got this little guy and then there's this little guy and it, all the wreaths are different too so you can interchange the wreaths and then there's this one and of course you can face them in different directions by just flipping your stencil around, that kind of thing. So those are what we were doing today because I thought they're so good for this, the, the perfect size for your tea towels. So the first thing we're going to do is position it on the tea towel and we are going to talk about the what fabrics are best to use for stenciling because um, so this one says it's cotton. Cotton is really one of the best things to stencil on. This t-shirt here, when I stenciled this, you can see that the words are kind of a little bit faded. I used a white, but this is a polyester t-shirt and I am usually, I love to wear more raw, uh, like cotton, things like that. So this was one I just picked up online really cheap one day, had it in my cupboard for ages and thought, why not just stencil that one? Um, but it's polyester and so I found that the, st the paint, and it's just an, a water-based acrylic paint, furniture paint actually, but I've used it plenty of times on t-shirts, but I've used it on cotton t-shirts with a lot more success than this is right here. It kind of has a bit of a faded denim look, which is okay, but cotton is a really good, um, is really one of the best things to, or uh, cotton rich fabrics anyway, they tend to work a little better. So, now positioning it on your tea towel, remember that you probably don't want to make it in the centre of the tea towel because what happens is you're either going to hang it on your oven uh, handle like so or these are a perfect size like I was saying for like in that centre third of the tea towel for when you hang it over your oven rail or any other railing that you might have like this and so it's a perfect size these little bunnies for just there in the center so what I'm going to do is you can I can kind of center it and, and 
um, do it while it's all out, but I thought I'd just position it like this so we can kind of see it. Uh, you probably will want to put a little bit of paper or something in between. I don't think it's going to come through. I think we'll be fine, but just to be safe, let's get a piece of newspaper. I could use this black card actually, and that'll tell me if it's going to show through because that's right there and it's perfect size. Okay, so you can either position it a little bit lower on the tea towel or in the centre. Probably up high is not great, but I'm just going to pop mine right about there so that when it's hanging over you can view it. Okay, and I did get this set of red towels. Some of them have patterns on it, but I'm totally not worried about the patterns because I think my little bunny rabbit is going to uh, turn out just fine on there. I'm just having a look over for comments. Yeah, Linda says she's so glad she'd stocked up on paint and wood before all this staying home started. Good idea. But just remember that you can get a lot of these things online. So Essential Stencils is still shipping for all of your DIY needs. So don't have to worry about not being able to receive it. Hopefully the shipping people are still shipping everywhere around the world. I know we are here in Australia. And if you are in Australia, I am, I, ha I am shipping out too because I sell a couple of different paint brands and I know that I'm selling a lot of paint this week for DIYers and people wanting to do some projects while they're in isolation. So great idea is to get your supplies. Okay, so I've, what I've done is I've dipped my paintbrush in the paint and I've offloaded it there on just an old piece of newspaper because you don't want a lot of paint on your brush. Um, in, with fabric though, we depending on the weave of the fabric, you may have to kind of add a little bit more, but we don't want too much on the brush because we don't want the paint to bleed under the stencil, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm popping the brush down and swooshing it around, popping it down, swooshing it around because I want to get into the fibres of the fabric and make this, it's actually turning out a little bit pink <laughs> because if you think about it, white on red turns out a little bit pink. Can anyone tell me what the date is for Easter? I, honestly, we're losing so much track of time. I know it's in April. Is it the first weekend, the second weekend? I have a feeling it's around the 13th, 14th, something like that which feels like it's a little bit later this year. Mm, I don't know, are people still going, someone asked, are people still going out to the shop? I know that in Queensland, in Australia where I am, they've locked down a lot of things. Um, of course, we don't have the number of cases that you have in the USA, but uh, we've locked down a lot of things. We can't go out now apart from just doing the bare essentials of groceries and only one person sort of can go out from your house to do that. We're not allowed to have friends over or meet up with any more than you and one other person at any given time and keep your social distance. So that's where we're at. But I know every country is different at the moment and every state within each country has kind of got different guidelines as well. Yes, I am using Fusion Mineral Paint. Thanks, Christine. So this is Fusion's color casement, which is one of their whitest whites. So that's it there. Let's pop that to the side a bit. And I'm just holding my stencil really still with that one hand. You can go over this a couple of times once it's sort of dried a little bit because what's happening is that paint is really soaking in. I can see it really soaking into the tea towel. I'm not sure if you can see that there. Everyone send hearts to my daughter, Tori, who's doing a great job on the camera today. Marty set up the big camera so that we could do this thing where you can kind of go live on, on Essentials page and my I Restore Stuff page at the same time. Only because this week, if you've just joined me, I was telling everyone earlier, this week uh, I've been doing five lives, five days of lives, and every day just doing something else that you can upcycle in your home. So I'm doing a lot of upcycling projects for people, so we've done a few. I'm on day four, this is day four. It's Thursday morning here in Queensland. Tori is in year 11 at school, so she's 16. 
So year 11, um, for your American people, I think that is uh, junior in high school, isn't it? Is that correct? Did I get that right? If my sister-in-law is watching, she's from the USA, she'll correct me. She has a daughter in senior this year. Okay, I'm gonna go, see if I can go back over that rabbit, because I feel like it's all soaking up the white paint. So you can just go over it a little bit more. And Tori's missing out on some online classes right now, aren't you, Tori? But it's one that, well, we won't tell the teachers. It's one that didn't really matter too much, okay? <laughs> so let's not tell the teachers. <laughs> She's missing out on an online class. Well, it's not like you're meeting online, are you? No. So we just snuck her away for a little bit of camera work here. She's helping mum. Let's just call this subject film and TV, shall we? <laughs> Thank you, Ellen. She said she's enjoyed each of the lives this week on my page. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, hasn't it? Okay, Kylie's telling me when Easter is. 10th to the 13th weekend here in Australia. I think it's the same all around the world. Easter's the 12th, but not sure. Donna says, yeah, I think it's 10th to the 13th. 10th to the 13th, you're right. Good Friday right through to... Well, we have Easter Monday here, I know some countries don't do that. All right, I think we're done. Now, it will look a little bit pinkish, but it will be standing out enough to just make it so cute. Look at that. Look at that. So we've got a whole set of three rabbits, making sure I get them all correct. And then I'll do a cushion, because the, the cushion idea, I'm going to be using one of those spring stencils. Now, you can get all of these over on Essential Stencils. The links are right there in... Uh, let's see, in one of the top comments, or the links for the stencils are in the description, that's what you call it, of the live. All right, remember we've got our tea towel folded this way, and what I'm going to do is put the tag, so you know you've got a little tag here. I'll make sure that that's at the back, because it also has a little hook here too, so if you were hanging your tea towel, you could kind of still see the design there with that little hook that they put at the back. Does that make sense? So I'm going to make that tag the back. Make sure that's at the back and then I'm going to stencil on the front. That's what I'll call the front. And then I'm going to divide it into three again. Let me do that a little bit more evenly. So if you missed this the first time, we're making Easter tea towels. So even though you may not be able to have a bunch of family and friends over for Easter lunch this year. You can still have pretty tea towels to display in your house. Now let me just take out the black cardboard that I used. And yeah, it did come through just a little bit. So it is, it does pay to have something through on the back of the tea towel cloth so that you can, so it won't go through to the next layer. It hardly shows anything, but it's worth just putting a piece of card in there. All right, our next little rabbit is sitting on the grass. I'm just trying to catch any comments we have. Do you have to seal it to wash it? Good question, Sue. Thank you so much for that question. Um, yes, you pro the way I seal it, well, I don't seal it with a product or anything. What I do to seal the paint into the fabric fibres is heat. So I just use a dry iron, an iron on the back side. And again, you could put a piece of paper or a cardboard underneath that front side so that it doesn't stick to your ironing board or something. Now I want to have a little look at where I positioned that in place. Not that you'll have them all side by side, but maybe you will. So just going to place it in sort of a relatively similar position on here. Now I'm using white. Maybe I should try a different colour for this because it's white on red. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Maybe a dark ash colour. I want to go with something neutral so that it's not Okay. The other thing that I forgot to tell you too is my little trick if you haven't seen that before is putting a rubber band at the end of my long, these are furniture paint brushes and so instead of the bristles which are nice and long and beautiful for painting furniture, they're nice and smooth, they cause less brush strokes, they're just cling on brushes and I use the round ones for my stenciling but because those long bristles are quite flexible when you're trying to do the swirling method that I do, I add a rubber band, a rubber band to the elastic band to the end of it to tighten those bristles up so then it makes it a lot firmer 
to do your stenciling. So that's my tip that I usually tell you each time so that it can be um, more easily stenciled on. It kind of stops it going all flexible and getting the bristles caught up underneath the stencil. Okay, so what we've got to do, we have to do, is offload our paint onto the paper and we're holding it down as firmly as we can. I'm going to start with the rabbit on the inside. And putting it down and smushing it around. Now the dark grey, this is called ash, it's fusion mineral paint again. Hmm. My volume is low, let me check if there's a, oh it is too, let me see. Oh does that make a difference guys? Just let me know. Or I'll try and speak up. So I have, I've lifted my hand off there, but I can see exactly where the outline is, holding it really firmly back down. Sorry guys, I'm trying to keep, the, keep up with your comments. Uh, the colour, Jude, is ash by Fusion Mineral Paint. It's a charcoal grey colour. And we could do the reef a green or something like that, but just for time's sake, I'm going to keep it all the same colour. And let's see how this really pops on the tea towel. So like I said, I just grabbed these tea towels out of my tea towel cupboard. I must admit, I, they have not been used yet. They're ones that were new, but just kind of sitting in the drawer waiting for that perfect time to use them. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? You don't want to use your newer ones until you have to, till the old ones are worn out. We should just use whatever we can. Um, Karen says, I'm having a hard time finding things to stencil. Well, Karen, try the tea towel drawer. I say that's what <laughs> I've done. Raided my tea towel drawer, your linen cupboard. Now, if you do have the tea towels, these are flat. They're not terry toweling. Is that what you call it? Terry toweling in the States? That's what we call it here in Australia. That fabric that's got a, a high pile on it. It's almost like shag carpet versus low pile carpet. But it's a lot harder to get the bristles and the do the stenciling if it's got a high pile on it. Like toweling. Okay, pushing that down again with my hands to keep it in place. And being careful not to, when you've got a wider brush, I'm using a wider rounder brush, being careful not to go over these edges also. Okay, so these are some lovely Easter projects. So don't forget, you can get your stencils 10% off today if you use the code iRestoreStuff at the checkout. Pop in the little coupon code and get 10% off your stencil order. That's for any of their stencils. It doesn't have to be just these ones. You can, there's a, a whole bunch in their spring collection. I'm about to show you some more for the cushion covers that I'm going to do in a minute. And they are gorgeous also. All right, there's the gray. I think we're almost done. Just going over to kind of make sure that we've got every little bit done. So once again, just a, a couple of tips for painting on fabric. Use cotton. Cotton's probably the best um, type of fabric to use versus polyester or nylon because the, the paint tends to nicely soak in and set in the fibres when it's a cotton. So I've got one more rabbit to use and I'll use him in a minute over on this one. I probably will do that white the same as this. So, but I'll leave those for now because you get that idea and I'll start on my cushion cover because I'm excited about using those stencils as well. So this one is the Bunny Wreaths. They, they are called Bunny Wreaths and they come in three different little rabbits to make cute little tea towels. I'll just pop those right there. And these are just tea towels, like I said, that I just had in my house. They were in my tea towel drawer right there. Oh, Catherine says, this session just makes my day. I'm so glad that I could help you make your day, Catherine. All right, so for our next one, I'm using cushion covers. Now, you could just go and, um, it's a bit hard to do it on cushions that don't have removable covers because obvious, obvious reasons. Uh, but you could 
find some cushions that are maybe already on your couch. Wash them, get them all nice and clean. I just picked up, these are ones that I haven't used yet. They were from Ikea. Oops. Um, let me just get one. And I think they are called Girly. Yep, so they're just the Girly Ikea cushions. I don't know, does Ikea ship? Maybe they do. They probably do online shipping. But I'm sure that some of you have got cushions in your cupboard somewhere that you can just remove the covers, give them a little spruce up for spring. Now I'm calling that the back of my cushion. So I'm going to, I don't know, it's just something I do. Even though you don't even see that, I feel like I just need to make that the back. All right, so there's our tea towels. Now we're onto the cushions. And I am going to be showing you, also let me just show you before I show you these the other Easter stencils that are in stock over on Essential Stencils. So use my code, I restore stuff, get you 10% off. They do ship to Australia, all my Aussie friends. So um, I, uh, someone's asked if I'm using chalk paint. It's actually fusion mineral paint and it's a furniture paint. Similar to chalk paint, but it has a built-in top coat. So, and remembering for the tea towels and the cushions, what you do to seal is a hot iron on a high setting and that seals in the paint and they can be washed. So here's some Easter stencils, I'll just show you those really quickly, that are also available. So just go to the essentialstencil.com, or actually the link is right up there in my description of the live, but use the code IRESTOREStuff and you'll get 10% off all of your Easter stencils, all of your spring stencils, there's some gorgeous ones there if you haven't seen those. And to those people watching from my, on my page, yes, they ship to Australia too. So, um, all right, here's what we're doing on the cushions. These are perfect because they're that square size. They are, the set is called Love Grows Here. And I had a look at the inventory and I know that they've got some left, but there may not be a lot. So grab them now. I love this wreath. Is that gorgeous or what? So I'm just gonna place that perfectly in the middle there. I'm, I'm gonna do that wreath because I, I love the wreath and remember that as I've done with my t-shirt here, if you missed that at the beginning, this is not what the essential stencil actually said. The essential stencil that I used was one that you may have in your stash if you've been following essential for a while. It did say, we should probably cuddle, but this is my social distancing t-shirt and I made it say, we probably shouldn't cuddle. So that if I'm out shopping and I see a friend, just gotta remind each other, no hugging right now. Um, do you put some, no, you put something over the paint so it doesn't stick to the iron? Uh, yes, Midna asked that question. You, I, yes, you can put a tea towel over the top of the stencil. So here's a little example. Here's my tea towel. I'll take my little cardboard out there. So if I'm ironing on there, I'll just open the whole thing up. Put it on the ironing board. You can either put it face down on the ironing board and a hot, hot iron it that way. You could even put a piece of cardboard underneath so that in case your paint sort of gets stuck to that, you'd wait till the paint's completely dry. And I've never had a problem with it sticking to anything, but if you wanted to, you could put something underneath it or lay it on the ironing board like this and um, add an old cloth or a scrap piece of fabric over the top and just kind of iron it like that. So easy peasy. Uh, let's open up this stencil packet and I'll show you. There's actually three in here. And this one's called, the set is called Love Grows Here. It's a 12 inch by 12 inch, which is 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. I know that conversion. It's the same size as our rulers over here. So we've got Love Grows Here. Then there is the whoop, down, Bloom where you are planted, isn't that gorgeous? So that's a gorgeous spring stencil. And then there's spring is in the air with a beautiful bicycle. Now you can interchange these. You could put a bicycle inside a wreath if you wanted to. A lot of the words are so interchangeable. So you could put the word spring inside. I even had a look and using your Easter stencils, you can pop the word Easter in the middle of the wreath if you wanted to. Easter egg hunt for that one. Um, there's so many different things you could interchange with these. So let me just first of all work on this beautiful cushion cover. And I haven't really done anything to prep these cushion covers. 
If you really want it to be particular, you could wash your cushion cover first, iron it, get it all ready to go. Um, Abby says, I love the bicycle, me too. Yes, I'm just using Fusion Mineral Paint, Beth. I'm just catching up on some comments. You can also use parchment paper to iron on. Oh, that's a good idea too. Excellent. So I've got these colours here. Well, I've got this ash colour. I just love that colour. I think I'll do that for the words. And maybe some green for that wreath going around the outside there. I've got some lovely green colours. So my ash is getting a little bit low here. I've got to dip it right in there. So remember when you're stenciling, wipe off the brush for the excess paint first, then offload the brush on some old paper or newspaper. If you wanted to, you could add a bit of painter's tape to your stencil to tape it down, your cushion down. I'm going to do that here. Can you see where the stencil comes close to the edge there? Because I don't want to get my brush stuck on the edge of the cushion cover because that's going to be really hard to get out. And I think I'll do a nice long one about there just so that it doesn't stick. I mean, it doesn't, the paintbrush doesn't get the gray over the edge or the green or whatever color I'm using on there. And that'll help it stay in place. I am stenciling over a ridge in my table. Actually, this is my idea also, to put that cardboard right in the center underneath this cushion, uh, inside the cushion, so that it's not gonna go through to the other side. All right. <clears throat> Hmm, Fran says the microphone keeps going up and down in the volume. I'm so sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, so I hope you can still hear me and get the general idea of exactly what I'm doing. I did already put my brush in, didn't I? And I've already offloaded. Here we go, we're just going to do the words inside right now. And just to move this along to the side here, because I've got a ridge in my table, and I didn't want a big line kind of coming through on my words. So again, I'm just going to use that swirly method really gently, just going over it as much as I, you can kind of go back over it, but it's always better to do a couple of thin layers rather than get the paint too thick to start with and risk it bleeding through underneath your stencil. So those are my stencil tips. Now guys, I forgot to tell you, just remember that at the end of our live, I'm picking three winners on the Essential Stencil page. So the winners will be from the Essential Stencil page and they will send you um, a prize, a stencil prize, I think. And there's some gorgeous stencils that you can play with. So stay tuned, I'll be picking those at the end. And if you're a winner, you'll have to email Essential Stencil to claim your prize and we'll give them the names. So I'll try and tag you here. But what I literally do is I go, just go through the comments and kind of um, scoop through, scroll through and randomly pick winners. Okay, this is turning out really great. God, I think that gray is just such a gorgeous gray. And I've hardly put any more paint on my brush. All right, now I could stop there and I probably will for just that. Actually, I might go and do a little bit of shadowing maybe on the some of the words in a minute, but what I'll do first while the stencil's in place, I'll do this and I'll do it like a pressed fern, which is a gorgeous green color. Pink and green should never be seen. I don't know about that. What do you think? I'm just gonna do it. Yes, it would be cute on a pillow, so actual pillows, that would be a great idea. Tori, you might want to grab Dad and just tell him there's microphone problems that people are saying it's cutting in and out and I'm sometimes. I'm not sure that he can fix that right now, but we'll see. Sounds like he's off his call, so we'll just go for it and see if we can do that. Okay, where's my other little brush? Again, I'm going to show you, I just simply put a rubber band around the tip of my brush to make it firm and make it into a stencil. So if you've got some ordinary paint brushes at home, that might be what you want to try. Okay, this is the colour pressed fern. Oop, did I get it? There we go. I'm going to um, offload that onto my newspaper. Oh, it looks like it's very light. Maybe add a bit more. 
Okay, so I'm just doing green all the way around on this root. Oh, everyone, someone else is saying they're seeing and hearing me fine. Yeah, I thought I had a couple of... Okay, what does it say? Is your... Is that... Yes, it's Fusion Mineral Paint that I'm using. Oh, my God. Fresh green. Gorgeous, bright green. Very springy green. Oh yes, Sandy said you can also stencil on those thin cloth-like bags that people use to grocery shop. Yes, if you get desperate to stencil something. Actually, right behind me, I have one of those tote bag kind of things from a shop. So this just came from one of our clothing shops. So that's just an ordinary tote bag. You could stencil on the back of it, stencil on the front of it. Um, great idea. So check your shopping bag. The other thing you can stencil on, guys, if you have brown paper bags, make them into gift bags and stencil on those. There's going to be lots of things around your house. I think we're okay. If other people are saying, uh, someone said you're not as loud as you were earlier, but I don't know. As long as you guys can kind of hear me, kind of, sort of, and you get the general idea of what we're doing. Well, I just make a little adjustment. <laughs> That's what's happened. I'm so sorry, guys. Now you can hear me really loud and clear. Oh, no, it says that it's not connecting. Are we still connected? Okay, we're still here, guys. Just wait a second. All right. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, yeah, we did have one little broadcast interruption there. I saw that one happen, but we should be okay now. And my microphone had fallen down, guys. I'm so sorry. Now you probably think it's really loud. <laughs> no, that's not the right one. <laughs> my husband's looking at me like I'm crazy lady. Yeah, Christine says you're back loud and clear now. How embarrassing. My microphone um, <laughs> that was stuck to the inside of my T-shirt just kind of dropped and fell down. So sorry about that, guys. We are back. I should have checked that first before calling on my technical husband to fix it for me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, why is that sounding more distant? I wonder. That's hilarious. Oh, you guys. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> All right, we're going green over pink. I still feel like this pink is such a beautiful pastel peony kind of a color. Let me know if you've got any more questions. I'm trying really hard. <clears throat> yes, an apron. That's another idea, Charlene. That's a great idea. Um, an apron would be great to stencil some of these things on. Imagine Easter apron. You can be making it Easter, cooking your Easter chook in the oven with your apron on, your Easter apron. <laughs> okay. Just doing my swirling method. <laughs> Crystal, that's funny. Sounds like something I would do, yeah. Thanks, Crystal. I'm glad you can relate. Yes, um, Sandy says you could also stencil on cardstock and make pretty cards. Yep, absolutely. There's so much you can do with these stencils. And cards is absolutely a beautiful idea. Um, I've been thinking about doing, you know, making some cards and actually sending them via snail mail. That would really cheer people up who are, who you're isolated from, your friends and family right now that you may, that may be just stuck in isolation and imagine their delight at receiving a gorgeous card from you in the mail. We should totally do that, Tori, right? I'm talking to my daughter. She's here helping me with the camera today, if you've just joined. She's wagging a class at online school just to be with me, so don't tell her teachers. She's helping me do the camera on the live today. All right. I should have got Tori to pick the prize winners. We'll do that in just a minute, guys. Look at that. That green is looking really nice. I like it. Now, 
There's areas that sort of are a bit less covered than others. I'm not going to stress too much about it. It is handcrafted stenciling, but it does look quite nice. Let me just lift that up to give the big reveal. Isn't that gorgeous? Love grows here. Now, if I wanted to, I could make that really pop and stand out with doing some shadowing on the letters. Oops. Yes, Dahlia says that Tori is still learning. So absolutely she is. She's doing film and TV class right now, <clears throat> learning how to operate the camera. Um, her dad, my husband, is audio video guy, so he's set up his big camera here. Oh, Linda says she sends a note each day to a different person in her family. That's amazing. You send it by snail mail, Linda. That is a great idea. So I'll just show you really quickly how we could shadow some of this. Actually, I don't really want to make it too... Um, maybe I could shadow it, use the green. Hmm. Might not work out, guys. I think I just need to leave it simple today. But if you go back to some of my other lives, I've actually created a shadow effect and I'll just show you really quickly how I did that. To create a shadow, you pop the stencil back on exactly where it is and then just shift it to the left, for example, and then shift it up slightly. Or you could shift it to the right and then up slightly. And when you've got it in place, you just shadow and use a different color, a contrasting color to that dark gray that I've got there. But what I'm worried about is if I go a light color, it's gonna be too light for the pink and not show up anyway. And I really want the words to kind of stand out together, not one apart from the other. So I think I'll just leave that one like that. You know that you can also do reversible cushions, right? So you know that you could do this on one side for spring and then Easter on the other side. So you could absolutely pop your Easter signs, happy Easter on the back of a spring cushion, then just flip it around for when spring comes. So how about there's that idea also. So <clears throat> there you have it. We've got cushion covers we've upcycled today. Thank you for my, my page. People are joining me at exactly the same time today. That was using this stencil set. Now get your 10% off today using code iRestoreStuff over at Essential Stencil. The links are right there in the description of the live. Now this one's called Love Grows Here. That's what you need to um, type in the search bar. That's that set. There's also the Easter set. We've got the cute little bunny signs that we did on uh, this, these tea towels here. Don't forget to pop your brushes straight in the water when you finish stenciling. And don't go anywhere because I'm going to pick some prize winners, guys, So, uh, on the Essential Stencil page. So the bunny tea towels that we did today were, it's called the bunny wreath set. So there's three different ones to that set, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Um, cute little Easter tea towels that you can have hanging in your kitchen. And even though you're the only ones that are going to see them probably this Easter, you could take selfies, take photos with them. Okay, I'm going to quickly grab my pen, write down some names here, and literally fly through my essential stencils comments. So, um, pick out some prize winners. Oh, guys, you make this so hard. I'm just picking prize winners, so if it's all gone quiet, stay tuned because your name might be picked, okay? <laughs> um, let's see. Don't forget to use the code I restore stuff. Okay, I've got my names, got them ready. I hope you're not zooming in on that, Tori. <laughs> I might see my names list. All right, guys, I'm picking from the Essential Stencil page today uh, because that's where the prizes are coming from. Thank you guys for watching over on my I Restore Stuff page as well at the same time. This was crazy. I'm so glad that I could do that at the same time because if you've only just joined me, I've been doing over on my I Restore Stuff page. I'd love to see you over there. Go catch the... Um, three lives that I've done already, plus today's live. I'm doing a fifth live tomorrow, five days of five things that you can upcycle in your home. So go check those out. And my winners today. So we've got Marilyn Ballard, you're a winner.
for Essential Stencils. So these winners, you will have to email Essential Stencil and their email is support at essentialstencil.com. So Marilyn Ballard, you're a winner today. Cheryl Copeland, you're a winner today. And Linda Ladato, did I say that right? Ladato, Ladato, Ladato. Linda, you're a winner today. So it's Marilyn, Cheryl, Linda, congratulations. You have won yourself some Essential Stencil stencils and they will pick the stencil. I don't know if you get to pick it or they pick it, but um, they will let you know on the email. So you guys can email them, claim your prize. And guys, I'll be back with another Essential Stencil live next week, but I'd love you to join me over on my page too. So um, don't forget, stay safe, social distance, do all the right things. Thank you guys, and I will catch you next week. Bye. Oops.